Welcome to this uh, system and this system is an Arclinux B Plasma 18.11 We are almost at the end of October and we've been testing out a new application we'd like to present to you Nick Petrov, our uh, Arclinux team member has worked with HBlock for quite some time and he said it would be interesting to add that to the Arclinux list HBlock is an application developed by this guy and it's called Hector Molinero Fernandez and it is trying to block and protect your PC by changing a file in your system the ETC hosts file so improve your security privacy by blocking the ads tracking and malware domains so that sounds good right what is this for is it safe to you I'll let you read this We've been testing it and we've made a package for it. So the only thing you have to do is actually just install it. In here, in this article on arclinux.com, we go through the motions and the video is going to be put on here. But this is the content of my ETC hosts on Thursday, October 25th, 25th uh, well, 4, 20, etc. So a lot of block lists. So this is the normal list that we all have. At a little bit more, I guess, in lines here, but this this one, first three that are important, and all the rest is block list. A very, very, very long block list. It's about hundred thousand of domains that are blocked by this um, effort from Hector here. So, how do we proceed? We need to install some elements. We need to install HBlock, and maybe just for safety feeling make a copy of the file of etc hosts and then launch it and that's it then you can forget it and every so much time i mean 24 hours i think it was there is a timer involved and you don't need to follow it up it just updates this list and in a few weeks time already we have thousands domain domains more that we've been uh, that we are protected from so without further ado Control T, launch your terminal, sudo pacman minus s h block, stop typing, press tab, let it fill in, then you say OK, install this thing. It's actually a very small application, as you can see, and it gives us some information. The etc hosts file will be changed to block 100,000 plus advertising, tracking, and malware domains. Run HBlock to change etc hosts. There is no automatic backup of your etc host file. So let's put this here. Let's have a look what's on our system. etc hosts and here is the file. So right mouse click, open it with, uh, if you want to write in this particular part of your system, you need to use sublime text if you just want to read you can use anything really so always take sublime text because you never know if I want to save anything so this is the normal hosts that we all have the difference is that the name is different right this is your PC your local host okay so if you want to back up that let's open it like this and we can go to actions at some way this is uh, plasma but there are other ways in other systems, doesn't matter which desktop you're on. You go to this location, open up a terminal. And in here, ls, you have all these files, but ls, ho and something. Then you have just the guys that start with ho. So hosts is there. The only thing I want to do is in this protected part, so sudo. And change the, so move or copy, it depends if you want to change the name then it's move, but you don't have hosts anymore. So in this case, I want to copy hosts to hosts backup, for instance, just the name. And then you have here another file, same file as this one. These two guys are just the same. Actions, compare files, files are identical. Okay, so this guy and that guy, let's open it up are just the same. Now we can go and have a look. Let's kill it. 
and launch it. So we have a backup and we launch the application HBlock. And now and just now it's going to install everything, getting all the mirrors and all the uh, lists of all these domains. The spammers are there. I see a lot of names. Spam, Stephen Black, Sejo, Dottle, Zeus, 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 Tracker and so on. Ransom, Where, Tracker. Lots of things. And at this point in time, 108,000 149 blocked domains. Now, what did just happen to your host file? If we reopen it, it's still the same host file, not the backup. A lot of things have changed. So this is what we had. This is some data just to know when it was um, updated. So you can see that every day you will get a new update in and it will increase be and this number will increase over time. Simple as that. Even more and more domains will be blocked. And this is the long block list. So you see here the slider. This is how long the list is. Of course, 100,000 lines. That's a lot. The only thing that happens is that all these domains that you see when you scroll through it, 1000 banner, x3, .fr, etc. All these domains will never be reached. So if you ever wanted to surf to it, and that's maybe a good exercise. I don't know which one is good. It's all doesn't matter which one we take. But if we say Control C and try to surf to it, your host file will say, I know the IP, it's 000. And this site cannot be reached. And that's it. It just stops there. There is no tracking, no possibility to ever get to these malware domains or tracking domains or ad domains. So that's the idea of Hector and all this work that went into it to find uh, all the resources on the net and put it in one application so that we have 108,000 domains that we're now, um, well, it's safe now, that it's secure now, or blocked now, no tracking anymore, no malware domains reachable anymore. So that's what we provide you. It's uh, up to you to install it, of course. If you don't want it, you don't install it. If you do want it, you can install it. As you know, it will not um, it will not be a problem or technical stuff. Once installed, it will just automatically update, update. You won't see it. I do see it when you, when you say, when you shut down the system, sometimes you see up there, age block started. So that's fine. So it's all in the background, a background service, so that you have a system that is clean. All right, enjoy age block. Um, if for some reason you don't, don't want it anymore, and it's very easy, of course, you just sudo remove it again. So sudo packen minus r, hblock is out of again. And the only thing you need to do is get back your, uh, your copy. So you have this copy that you've made. So uh, you can copy over or move, it just depends. Sudo copy, let's keep the original one. So the backup, I mean. So copy hosts. Which one? Dash backup. Where should I backup? Uh, an S is missing. Backup to hosts. And that's it. If we do now nano hosts, you'll see that it's still, well, still, it's the new one, the old one, five lines, and all the rest is gone again. All right, enjoy your uh, H block. I hope you're happy with it. Uh, we are. It just works and it's on the background. It just updates itself. All right. Cheers.